Hello everyone, happy Saturday. So today I am going to show you how to automate, select single multiple slicer filter options in Power BI online app using Power Automate Desktop. So if you can see my mock-up dashboard for Power BI Online, you can see there's three clients, Pam, Ken, Bob, and then there's a slicer at the top right-hand side. And then uh, I am going to use Power Automate Desktop to automate the selection of these slicers. So before I go to my Power Automate Desktop, I just want to demo what Power Automate Desktop will do. So I'm, I'm just going to click on the play or run so that you guys can see what how it works. So first it will clear selection. Then it will select uh, the uh, client name based on my list. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use office work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. The first step to do this is actually to create a new data table. And then you have to put in the criteria that you want to filter on. So you can use uh, Excel spreadsheet or you can uh, manually create in this uh, Power Automate desktop. I think uh, creating from Excel is much easier than you uh, import it to Power Automate desktop. Then what you need to do is retrieve data table column into list. So data table is data table. Then uh, column name or index is zero or whichever column uh, that you have created in your Excel table. Then you use hover mouse over UI element in window. So what you do is you click on add UI element. Right. Then you, you select this combo box, then you control left click, right? Then you press save. Um, so the reason to do that is you want to have this clear selection appear. So you need to hover around here to get this, right? Then what you do is you use click UI element in the window and then um, you select the clear selection. This is to clear all your selections. Then you control left click. All right? Then click tab is left click. Next, you use click UI element in window. And then click on UI element is combo box client, which you have uh, added in the hover mouse over UI element in window. So what you will do is you will click on here, right? And then the selection will appear. Then you use for each current item in column as list. So this will iterate through your column with the criteria. Store into current item. And then you use set checkbox state in window. Right? If you don't have this, please update your Power Automate desktop. Then what you do is 
you click on add UI element all right then just pick one of the list item control and left click all right so once you got that you need to set checkbox state to check and then you go to uh, UI elements here on the right hand side of Power Automate Desktop. You click on the list item, right? You click on the triple dot and then you click on edit. And then you go to list item can or your list item, right? Then over here, name equal to make sure you change it to current item All right so you double click current item so it will keep iterating through the current item in your list uh, one note is uh, if you see here if i click on bob and then click on can right i can do multiple selection uh, if you don't want to have don't want to do multiple selection, if you just want to select one by one, uh, you have to edit right your slicer. Click on uh, format your visual. Right, just uh, switch on the multi select with uh, control or command. Right. So if you switch it on, right, uh, when uh, Power Automate Desktop, when it uh, select, right, it will only select one by one. Because uh, if to select a few together, you have to ask Power Automate Desktop to click on control and uh, left click. So because we didn't, use, we didn't ask Power Automate Desktop to use control, uh, it will only select one by one. So this is very important. Also, if you want to select all, right, you can also edit in the format of visual, and then you can uh, switch on the select all. Also, I haven't tried, but you can try. You can uh, actually do a single select, then um, your selection will be just a radio button. So I'm going to switch it back to the original, my original selection. Okay. So going back to the Power Automate desktop. Um, and right then the next is you need to click ui element in window um, so you need to ask power automate desktop right to res uh, res uh, to close the uh, selection so you have selected right so you just ask power automate, power automate desktop to just Click here again so that uh, your selection will disappear. So I am going to run uh, this workflow again, and uh, you guys can see how it run again. So you will go through my table, right? Then you will click clear the old selection. Then you will select. Then you will. Uh, Stop displaying the selection. Um, I hope this video has helped you. Please give this video a like and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.